Hey guys, I have a short but interesting video for you. I just finished up 100 days in my hardcore world. It's a pretty cool place. There's a link to the in the right hand corner to the series. The main thing is, I haven't died. And since I have plans for this world to go way past 100 days, I thought I'd look back at times where I was in some serious danger and try to learn from them. Now, just so you know, the last clip of this video is my I got down to one heart moment. It was intense and I was pretty proud of myself that I stayed focused and calm and did what I was supposed to do. And, and that's the thing about a hardcore world. You gotta stay mindful, otherwise you're gonna die. So I've included a couple other clips where I have lessons to learn. I forgot about gameplay mechanics or I was careless or I was lazy and Anyway, maybe these clips will help you out too. My first danger check is the one where I forget that sand is affected by gravity in the game. I wasn't even close to dying here, but my heart was racing so hard. This was early in the game and I just forgot. I could have fallen to my death. Ooh, I like this one. This is the one where I do a simple thing a simple thing like, hey, you know what? Lava is dangerous. Maybe I should put some blocks down in case I slip. And then literally like 10 minutes later, I'm heading back and some magma cube decides to body check me. And if I hadn't put those blocks down, I'd be in lava. This is the dangerous time where I panicked. Now I probably ended up doing the right thing, but I was not in a calm place. So I was all slap happy about these little, little baby zombies. And then I see a creeper behind me and I panic because I feel like the creeper is either going to kill me or it's going to push me into these baby zombies and I'm going to die. And so I just take off running into the darkness. Now thinking about it, I, I think that's probably what I needed to do, but oh good Lord. Oh, good Lord. I was just panicked here. I was just panicked. I was just running. Uh, my hands were sweaty. My palms were, were, I'm not even getting it right now. It's stressing me out looking at the video. <laughs> Heart racing, palms sweaty. Yeah. So I don't know. Would I have done something different here? No, I did the right thing, but maybe just trying to stay in a calm place if at all possible. Here's, a, here's one of the dangerous situations where I was reminded that for whatever reason, I can't seem to avoid looking Endermen in the eyes. I think I have. And then one of them gets really pissed off at me and boy, they hit hard in a hardcore world. So I just need to be mindful of not looking these touchy little jerks in the eyes. Okay. So here's another one where I didn't die, I didn't even get hurt. But when I looked back at it, I'm like, ooh, ooh, rabbit, you are not being wise here. So it's nighttime. You can, I don't even notice that creeper off to the right. Did you see it as I panned by? I didn't see it when I was playing the game, no. And I'm like, I need the subsidian. I want, I think I was going to the nether. I wanna go to the nether. So I put myself in this hole and I'm not even aware of a nearby creeper. And I'm, you know, I'm looking around and stuff like that, but I, I could have made this a whole bunch safer and this could have been a whole bunch more dangerous. I'm just lucky like that I didn't have multiple creepers come down on me or something like that. So yeah, mindless. I was a little mindless here. This is the dangerous situation where I was just, I was just plain lazy. I was plain lazy. I had realized at a certain point that I was not wearing gold armor. I was in a crimson forest. And so potentially I could get attacked and I'm not good at PVP. So yeah, dangerous situation. Now, do I go back and get gold armor? I'm like, no, I want the soul sand. So I'll just risk this. You don't do that in hardcore. Like I made it right, but, but no, hardcore is about being super careful. And eventually these kinds of decisions can catch up with you. You don't make these kind of decisions, I don't think. I mean, I think 
you keep trying to be super, super careful. Anywho, I did get the soul sand and I didn't die, but I should have gone back and gotten gold armor. I should have. Ah, uh, yes, this one. This is the one where I'm in the nether. And I wasn't thinking about the types of dangerous mobs that I could be confronted with. So I was all about getting, uh, killing Endermen here. I had a uh, looting three sword. I was super excited about it. Wasn't thinking about gas. Wasn't thinking about that I didn't have a lot of protection from gas. And uh, I don't think you can tell here, but I had had an Enderman that had gotten angry at me and then gotten stuck somewhere. So I think at this point it had given up on me, but I didn't know that at the point. So I've got a gas angry at me. I'm getting fireballs shot at me and potentially an Enderman that's just waiting for me to step out and, and well, knock me around. So yeah, this is just a thing that when you're going into an area, think about the mobs that you're going to encounter. I put this one in here as another example of Endermen being touchy, touchy jerks. I don't remember looking at three Endermen. Wasn't that three Endermen? I think that was three Endermen. Ugh. What can I learn from this? What can I learn th from this? I can, well, I can be reminded that Endermen are touchy jerks, but probably oh, to remind myself not to look at Endermen and then do, maybe don't go into a super dangerous room without, you know, trying to be aware of if you have angry endermen on your buttonski. Yeah, that's what I learned from this one. Also, that I'm bitter. Bitter about touchy endermen. Oh, this one makes me laugh. Here's the one where I, I discover or, or looked up. What is that feeling called when you're on the edge of something? Like in real life, when you're near a window ledge or you're near a cliff edge and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, what if I jumped? What if I, I don't want to jump, but what if I jumped? Yeah, I do that in games too. Like I lit literally get vertigo and then I get scared about, well, what if I, what if I accidentally jump? What if I, uh, anyway, it's called HPP. It's the high places phenomena. And um, anyway, did you learn a new term? I did, HPP. Here is my most dangerous moment. And I am reminded about why maybe I'm bitter about Enderman. All right, so during the dragon fight, um, I clearly looked at them. They got mad at me and like six of them ganged up on me, beating me down to one heart. I race over like using an ender pearl to get over to this safe area that I have. I was super close to dying here. I think I had to pause and like catch my breath. Meanwhile, like while I'm trying to get rid of these guys, the dragon is around me going, oh, hey, let me try to take you out while you're distracted by these ender. Yeah, yeah, this was, this was pretty darn scary. Now, having said that, I was so proud of myself. I did not freak out. This is not like when I ran out into the dark cave with those three baby zombies. I was like, oh, look, the endermen are hitting me. I made sure I have ender pearls in my hot bar. I shall use them to get out ahead of them because otherwise they are going to kill me. I have this little safe area that I set up. Like, I was super calm about it. I mean, granted, I had to take some deep breaths afterwards, but I totally handled it. Anywho, I hope you guys found this video either helpful, perhaps, interesting, maybe funny, uh, and I hope that you guys are surviving and being mindful in your hardcore world.